Hi guys, I'm just going to do a really quick overview of a product I've been using for the past couple of months called Dot Photon Raw. It's an image compression tool that um, strips out any unwanted data from a, a raw file and creates a DNG file in its place. On the Dot Photon Raw website, it does state that it can reduce the file sizes down by about 80%. So with my Sony A9 files, it can take the original raw file, which is around about 25 megabytes, and compress it down to around about nine to nine and a half megabytes. So it's a huge space saver. I've got a few examples here. I'm gonna put some onto the screen um, with the raw files compared to the output DNG, just to see if you can see any differences with uh, color rendition, um, the, the details in the background, the details in the foreground, um, the sharpness, just to see if anything degrades once putting it through the dot photon raw app. Um, so let's have a look, let's dive straight in. So if we have a look at the two files that I've put side by side, so the way I've done this on the left hand side, you've got the process DNG file that's, that's gone through the dot photon raw app. On the right hand side is the original raw file from the Sony A9. So just putting the two shots side by side, as you can see straight away, there's, there's no apparent difference between the two images. If we sort of have a look at the skyline, so the arbor against the, the clouds, no difference, no loss of data. The lights all seem to be nice and sharp there. So yeah, data or the, the information within the, the flowers and the dresses, that's all still the same. There's no apparent difference between the, the two shots there. So that looks fairly identical to me. There's no apparent differences there. So. If we head inside now into the uh, wedding breakfast, I've picked these sh shots again because nice, bright, vibrant colors to see if it's retaining the, the details in the colors. Uh, if we have a quick zoom into the petals there, no loss of information within the colors of the flowers, even in the, the, the background area, that's looking identical. Uh, the berries, nice and bright and vibrant reds. The yellows in the glass looking identical. So we have a quick look at the label here. I know it's out of focus, but um, you can still see the information uh, within the labeling. That's all identical. The greens of the candlesticks, the out of focus flowers. Yeah, no apparent differences there. So if we head back outside again, so we're gonna have a look at the confetti run for Sarah and Larry's wedding. So side by side. No difference, you can see the information in the clouds, that's still there, there's no apparent difference. Information being retained in the dresses and the suit, and Larry's suit and the, the bow tie. So the skyline again as the green meets the, uh, the clouds. No loss of information, nothing being blurred that's um, looking unusual. So yeah, that's looking identical as well. Yeah, flowers looking the same between the two shots. So if we have a quick look now at some higher ISO uh, shots. So this is ISO 1600. This is a venue called Elmore Court. This is in one of the rooms there. So uh, straight away, again, no difference. Um, nice and sharp on the face. The lipstick, nice and bright and vibrant. If we have a look in the background there, so information is exactly the same between the two shots. Uh, how about the dress? The dress is looking the same as well. So a little bit on the fingernails there as well. The nail varnish, nice and bright. Nothing being lost there. So even with higher ISOs, that's looking that's looking pretty good between the two images. And if we go even further up the ISO range, we've got this is an ISO five thousand now. So this is a shot I've taken within the. Uh, uh, wedding breakfast during the speeches. I don't really use flashes during the um, during the speeches, so I use whatever lights available. And as you can see, even at ISO five thousand, it's it's retaining the information when it's coming from raw to the DNG. So dot photo model doing a really good job at, at maintaining the information in the in the files. Yeah, the colours, even the out of focus section, colours, detail, all looks pretty similar. So. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think it's done a really good job um, at stripping out all the unwanted information. So is it worth the $49 annual subscription? Well, there's pros and cons. Yes, it does save a lot of hard drive space, but hard drive space at the moment is incredibly cheap. 
I think you can pick up a one terabyte Seagate hard drive from Amazon for around about £40, which is less than the annual subscription for Dot Photo on Raw. For me personally, the way that I process my shots uh, when I come home from a wedding, I'm looking around about sort of anywhere between five and 6,000 images, and I prefer to cull within Lightroom itself. So having Dot Photo on Raw to reduce those file sizes, getting them into Lightroom, um, uh, the last wedding I had, I think I saved about 71 gigabytes. Um, uh, of hard drive space, so that's an incredible saving. Lightroom also seems to prefer the smaller files, um, the smaller DNG files, so processing through Lightroom seems to be a little bit quicker as well, so that's that's a positive. Um, but obviously there's an initial step of converting those files from RAW into DNG before you put them into Lightroom, so um, yes it saves space, uh, but it increases the processing time a little bit beforehand, so you've got to weigh the pros and cons. Um, but for me, I think it's a great little tool to use. Will I continue using it? Yes, I probably will. Um, uh, hopefully the examples that I've shown you have given you a bit of an idea of, of what it does and how powerful this tool is. If you've got any questions, yeah, please leave them in the comments below um, and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Thanks for watching.